What's up everybody? Ricky Caruth here. Happy Easter to you. I'm out here chilling on my back porch. I got Carlin and Whitley inside making some lasagna and some, uh, what are they making? Some, some banana pudding cupcakes. It's going to be amazing. But anyway, I wanted to do this quick video for you and kind of share about my social media mindset, kind of what's behind it, how I've been so successful across so many different platforms. I also want to share a video with you I did a couple weeks ago, if you missed it, on the best time to post. It's really fire. There's a lot of value in that entire video. I'll put a link below for that and also click the thumbs up button for me because I put a lot of time and energy and thought into all these videos on YouTube and I'm doing nothing but trying to bring you as much value as possible. So I want to give you two tips on social media right now about how I believe that I've come so far and I'm still got so far to go. <laughs> like I'm just now getting started. I have a really good foundation but that's about it and I understand how the game works. The first one is is that you have to be consistent. Okay so a lot of people want to be super successful with social media and different things in their life. But the problem is, is that success is normally extremely ugly, okay? It's not pretty, all right? The first year or two, like for YouTube example, right here on this platform, I did 100 videos somewhere about in the first year. Had about 100 views per video, something very low. Within the first two years, I only had like 600 subscribers, something like that, okay? It took me so long to get to 1,000 subscribers. It took me like two years, something like that and hundreds of videos, okay, but I stayed at it. I wasn't too worried about how many views. It was frustrating at times, I'm not gonna lie about that, but I knew that I just had to keep going, and that's one thing about me you'll find is that I just don't stop. Super consistent, always gonna do what I say I'm gonna do when I said I was gonna do it. But most people will take that first year or two and say, okay, I've done 100 videos or 200 videos, I only have 300 subscribers, I only am getting 100 views per video, you know, I'm not doing something right, this is not working for me, I'm going to move on to something else, and they quit. But if they only knew that if they would just keep going from there, if they would just keep going, that they would eventually experience that exponential growth. And exponential growth just kind of happens a little bit over time. I got up to where I was getting about 100 subscribers a day, and I'm still around 100 subscribers a day for a couple of years. So it's just slow growth. You don't really see those exponential. Every once in a while you do a video that does really well and jumps really high, but then you're right back. Even the bigger YouTubers, you'll see. So just stay at it. That's number one. Be consistent. Make it original. Make sure your social media is an extension of who you are. You are a consistent person. You're dependable. You're professional. Okay, relay all that, mirror that in your social media in terms of original content created by you that's very consistent. The second tip I want to share with you is, is that you have to engage. I think one of the biggest reasons why I've blown up just a little bit over the last couple of years is because I answer every single Instagram DM. And I think there's a lot of influencers out there that don't even look at their DMs. I know that I've reached out to lots of influencers and they don't even message me back. It's crazy. So if you will take time and you will answer those messages, if you will respond to those comments, right? And when you respond to comments, other followers of yours see you responding to those comments and they realize you're a real person and you respond, okay? So it does so many things for your social media over time. So a couple things here, I want you to be original, I want you to be consistent, and I want you to engage through DMs and public comments. I want you to respond back. And I want you to throw your two cents out there. And another thing, something that goes really big on social media is what I've realized, is that people really tune in when you're giving your opinion about something. Not just saying something, not just, you know, you know, putting things out there or, or, or retweeting or, 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 you know, sharing different things. It's when you post something and you share your thoughts in your two cents, your inner opinion about what's going on, that's when people find very interesting, right? That's when people really tune in and start to follow you harder and harder and harder. So I hope this helps you with your social media game. Let me know if there's anything else in the world I can do for you guys. Happy Easter to you and your family. Be safe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.